family. We're not fault finders. When, when errors are made, we say, Subhanallah, because we know none of us are perfect. And I think that was a wonderful way to start this weekend, to show the true spirit of a time to be grateful. And we're glad to have all of our pioneers here with us today. I told the whole local community, I said, if you want to stop reading about the history of Islam in a book and talk to the people who actually lived it, I said, come to a time to be grateful this week. Move. Muhammad don't make none weak. None loose, none slack, none cheap. Muhammad don't make none weak. None loose, none slack, none cheap. Muhammad don't make none weak. None loose, none slack, none cheap. Junior Bangkok, my sister soldier, salute in war kind, I thought I told you. We're in a time of war, no holding back. When the enemy comes, we'll be ready to attack. If Change my son, daughter, and niece, and nephew, so 
Everybody step through, be messy, got some soldiers do. So on my birthday, don't send me no balloons. Make a prayer for me, I'll be needing any money, so. Not right away, but a lot quicker than I would like. But either way it goes, it's a hike. My life consists of walking, running, maybe even a bike. But either way it goes, I'ma travel with this mic. I'ma speak what I can, I'ma lead till I can't. Even if the powers that be don't like. Cause I don't think the powers that be. Till I dug and found out the powers that be is in me.
Yeah, they ain't started at home. Started at home, and the woman was the first caller to prayer. <coughs> and I said, oh, I thought it was Bilal as well. It was Bilal. But Bilal and Muhammad, the prophet, Peter, money, and they were the answer to prophecy. So he was chosen as the caller to prayer uh, when he said, a salat to fail on men and women. Prayer is better than sleep. Well, you're talking about somebody's laying down snowing. No, we were talking about that prayer. We were talking about that sleep. He was talking about people, what they have done, they have slept on their potential. That as God has given to you, and you have went to sleep on it. So Bilal is there to wake you up to your potential. And get the work when it says, Hi, I live for that. Come and be the main developers in society. So, Sister Daia, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Daia, told Jane to wake up. <laughs>
He's a very good friend of mine, and I work closely with him uh, in trying to uh, bring into uh, realization the Warren D. Muhammad Community Center in Chicago. He's working very hard in that effort, and he needs our support. <clears throat> he is also a long-standing pioneer in this community. Uh, he had been around 30 years before I even came in. So he lets you know how long he's been around. Praise the Lord. Uh, and I also would like to recognize, and I, I would like for you to stand, those who came in, those pioneers who came in along with myself and my wife in the very early 70s. If you're still, if you're still here, can, can you please stand? There's not many of us left around.
like my husband said, I do like to talk. And you can rest assured I had his iPhone, and I send that Quran to him 24 7. And you know, we wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, not because of father, but to go to the restroom. <laughs>
other uh, other Muslim journal work tirelessly uh, for low pay, sometimes not getting paid at all, to keep this paper going. So if you see her, just give her a hug. Watch she's walking. And put a check in her pocket. <laughs> but seriously, when you say uh, the inheritors embracing our future, she has been a model for me of what hard work is without being always receiving an award or receiving recognition. If, we, if you saw what she, she's doing, so please, uh, uh, please support the Muslim Journal. Please join our 130 subscri uh, subscribers movement and uh, 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 help me uh, give our sister a great round of applause.
there's a story that when the bus was coming from the north to the south, you know how the, the bus drivers used to call out the locations where you would be stopping? And he came through Tennessee, came through Memphis, and when he was heading across the state line, he said, and I'm in Mississippi. He said the two great home dogs jumped off the bus <laughs> and ran back. <laughs> But we learned that we still have to plant and we still have to grow. And we all know the story of the Arab proverb about the old man who's planting fruit trees. And how someone said, Why are you planting those trees, old man? You'll never see the fruit. And he said, The fruit is not for me, it's for those who come behind me. But I had a real life experience in Mississippi, in Jackson. I went to buy a magnolia tree. There was a little seedling. And so I'm reading the label and it says, This tree will grow to be 25 feet tall. And the attendant that was with me, I said, really? Is this big and it's going to grow to be 25 feet? He said, yeah, and then he laughed. He said, but you won't see it. <laughs> but I still bought my trees. I'm going to buy two, one for my front yard, and then one, Dr. Ali, you can plant at my grave site. And who knows what I'll see. <laughs> we think of the BCL, the believer, think not of them as being dead, but surely they are alive. I want to bring up the American Coalition for Good Government representatives who will come before us. If you can come up now, the sister uh, Khadija. In this day and time, we need to be politically active and conscious and aware and on watch. And one of the groups in our community who does that is the American Coalition for Good Government. Sister Khadija Muhammad. Thank you. 